Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing with you another packaging idea. I was going through my makeup collection and I came across this fake eyelash box and I thought it would be cute to maybe recreate it and use it for ephemera. So I opened it up and took it apart and I created my template. I've just been really enjoying creating packaging lately. So this is what it looks like. And I love it because you have this big flap on top that you can have all that room to decorate. Um, but this is what it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and create that today. So if you'd like to see how I made this, then just keep watching. To begin creating your box, you're gonna need a piece of 12 by 12 paper. And your first cut is going to be 12 inches. And then you're going to turn that on its side and cut at five and three quarter. So now it is time to score paper. So on the 12 inch side, you're gonna go ahead and score at one and five eighths, two and a quarter, five and seven eighths, six and a half, and 10 and one eighth. Then you're gonna go ahead and turn it over and score at three eighths of an inch and one inch. And you're going to do that to both of the long sides. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do a lot of cutting. I zoomed in so you guys could be able to see my score marks better. First, we're going to be cutting off these two sections. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut those off. And then the next little section we're gonna be cutting is this little tab right here. So you're gonna go ahead and cut that off on both sides. When you go to cut that little square off, uh, keep cutting all the way up into this score mark because we're going to need that cut there anyway. So I will show you on this side. So just keep cutting up into this score mark and then cut off that little square. And then you have free open tabs. So next we're gonna be cutting off these two long rectangles. So I'm gonna be doing that on both sides as well. After you cut those two sections off, you can just toss them. And next you're going to be cutting these little squares again because this is going to be another little tab like the one that we cut before. So I didn't do it here. I don't know why, just, I don't know why, it just probably spaced my mind, but um, you're gonna need to continue um, that cut up into that score mark. So I go back and I show you guys that I'm going to cut up into that score mark. And that creates our second little tab. So we're almost done cutting. Now we're going to cut off these corner sections. So you're gonna cut off these last two rectangles on both sides. And you don't need them anymore so you can toss those as well. So this is what you should have. And next we're going to be cutting at an angle on this large tab. So I'm just gonna cut at an angle so it looks like a little tab. And we're going to do that on both sides. And we're also going to be cutting at an angle on these small tabs. So almost like you're creating a V. So you're gonna be doing that to all the small tabs. So this is what you should have. Next, we're going to go ahead and create our window. I have a square die that I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna flip that over and have it as much in the center of the square as I can. So this will be the front of our box. So I'm just centering my square die 
as best as I can. I have a little piece of washi tape to hold it and then I'm going to run it through my die cut machine. If you don't have a die cut machine, you can use an X-Acto knife and a craft mat. Um, and then I just ran this through and I didn't even need to run the whole thing through, just the portion that had the die. And this is what it looks like. So now I'm going to be using this piece of cellophane to be my acetate. Um, you can use acetate, but all I have on hand is um, this cellophane, which works great as well. So I'm going to be adding adhesive around my frame and I'm going to grab my piece of cellophane and carefully try to smooth it onto my adhesive. Pressing it down and this is what it looks like. So now we're going to be just folding on all those score marks that we made. So you're gonna do that to all of them. As you can see with this top piece, it gets folded outward. Um, everything else gets folded inward. Hopefully that makes sense. And this is going to be what your box looks like. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some adhesive on these large flaps. And you're gonna to want to line up these score marks. So I show you in a second, there's an easier way to do it. But I basically um, will fold everything back like this and just line up the score marks you're going to need to trim off that little bit at the top so that's what I do here and then I'm just going to be folding in my side tabs so now it's time to add your ephemera so I just went ahead and grabbed a bunch of different pieces of ephemera that I had in my stash and I'm going to be um, filling my box you can load this as much as you want if you don't have a ton that you want to put in the box, you can always add crinkle paper first and have that kind of as like a decorative background and then just um, almost like a filler and then you can add your ephemera um, to the front. So this is what my ephemera boxes look like. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it was easy to follow. Thanks again for watching and I will talk to you all soon. Love you guys. Bye.